Hello and welcome to this video in which we will solve problem number 31 to 40 of the metric progression. So let's get started. And as always, do not look at the solution immediately. Only if you cannot solve the problem by yourself, uh, only then you look at the solution. And uh, let's start. If the continued product of three numbers in a GP is 216 and the sum of their products in pairs, it's not paired, S and D are nearby on keyboard, so it's a typo, is 156, find the numbers. So we choose the numbers as A by R, A and AR as suggested in last video, where A is the first term and R is the common ratio of the GP. Product is 216, so we get A as 6, not M6, and is another typo. I think I should start revising the PDFs more carefully. Now, sum of products in pairs is 156. So we get A by R into A plus A into AR plus A by R into AR is equal to 156. That is, if we take A square common, then in the parenthesis, we are left with 1 by R plus R plus 1 is equal to 156. Now we substitute the value of A, so A square becomes 36. So now we solve the equation to get the quadratic equation 3R square minus 10R plus 3 is equal to 0. So we get R is equal to 1 by 3 and 3 by solving this quadratic equation. Thus the required numbers will be 18, 6, and 2 or 2, 6 and 18. Problem number 32 says that if A, B, C, D are in GP, so that A plus B whole square, B plus C whole square, C plus B whole square are in GP. Now we let A to be the first term and R to be the common ratio of the GP. So we have B is equal to AR, C is equal to AR square and D as AR cube. Now a plus b whole square is equal to a square. We take a common, and, and so what is left inside parenthesis is one plus r whole square. For b plus c whole square, we take out a square r square common, and in that parenthesis we are left with one plus r whole square again. And for c plus d whole square, we take out a square r to the power four common, and in that parenthesis we are again left as 1 plus r whole square. It is not a, it is 1. It's again a typo. Don't worry about these typos. I'll fix these before, uh, after the video and push it into GitHub so that you can download it from there. And also, if you find uh, mistakes in my slides, feel free to comment on the video. It is clear that uh, now we see that this is, these three are in GP with the common ratio of r square. Problem number 33 says that if A, B, C, D are in GP, show that A minus B whole square, B minus C whole square, C minus D whole square are in GP. So this problem is like previous problem. We, instead of 1 plus R whole square, we are left with 1 minus R whole square uh, in the, for the terms, for each of the terms. So we see that these are again in geometric progression with the common ratio of R square. Problem number 34 says that if A, B, C, D are in GP, show that A square plus B square plus C square, A, B plus B, C plus C, D, B square plus C square plus D square are in GP. So we have A square plus B square plus C square, as, and this time we take out A square common, and what will be left in bracket will be 1 plus R to the power 2, it is not R. Another mistake. R square plus R4. For AB plus BC plus CD, we take out A square R common and inside parenthesis we will be left with 1 plus R square plus R4. For B square C plus C square plus D square, we take out A square R square common and we will be left with 1 plus R square plus R4 inside parenthesis. So we see that these are in GP with the R as the common ratio. Problem number 35 says that if A, B, C, D are in GP, show that 1 by A plus B whole square, 1 by B plus C whole square, and 1 by C plus D whole square are in GP. We have already proven that A plus B whole square, B plus C whole square, C plus D whole square are in GP. So this is nothing but 
uh, reciprocal of that. So the terms will turn out to be 1 plus a plus b whole square is equal to 1 by a square multiplied with 1 plus r whole square. And for b plus c whole square, it will be similar with what we take out common is a square r square. And for c plus d whole square, we take out a square r power 4 common. So we see, <coughs> sorry. So we see that these are in GP with a common ratio of r 1 by r square. Problem number 36 says that if A, B, C, D are in GP, show that A into B minus C whole cube is equal to D into A minus B whole cube. So this is a simple problem. We let uh, A to be the first term and R to be the common ratio of the GP. So we will have B is equal to AR, C is equal to AR square, D is equal to AR cube. Now left hand side is A into B minus C whole cube. That is A into AR minus AR square to the power 3. Now we take out AR out and multiply it with A, we get A to the power 4 R cube is equal to 1 minus R whole cube. Now D into A minus B whole cube is equal to AR cube multiplied with A minus AR to the power 3. Now we take out A common from this, so it becomes A to the power 4 R cube multiplied with 1 minus R whole cube. Now see that left hand side is right hand side. Problem number 37 says that if A, B, C, D are in GP, show that A plus B plus C plus D whole square is equal to A plus B whole square plus C plus D whole square plus 2 into B plus C whole square. As usual, we let A to be the first term and R to be the common ratio. So now we see that left hand side is nothing but A plus AR plus AR square plus AR cube whole square whole square which gives us upon expansion as a square into 1 plus 2r plus 3r square plus 4r cube plus 3r to the power 4 plus 2r to the power 5 plus r to the power 6. Now right hand side we substitute these values and we arrange the terms and we will see upon arrangement that left hand side will be right hand side. Now problem number 38 says that if A, B, C are in GP, show that A square, B square, C square multiplied with 1 by A cube plus 1 by B cube plus 1 by C cube is equal to A cube plus B cube plus C cube. Now in this case what we do is that we take A to be the first term and R to be the common ratio as usual. So B is A or C is A R square. Now we consider the left hand side. So we multiply A square, B square, C to each of the terms by uh, removing the brackets. So we get left hand side as b square c square by a plus a square c square by b plus a square b square by c. Now substitute the values and we get uh, left hand side as a cube r to the power 6 plus a cube r to the power 3 plus a cube, which is nothing but c cube plus b cube plus a cube. This is not the typo, it is not is equal to, it is plus. So that's how we have proven the, it to be the right hand side. Problem number 39 says that if A, B, C are in GP, show that A square minus B square multiplied with B, minus B square plus C square is equal to B square minus C square into A square plus B square. So we do the usual letting of the variables and left hand side becomes A square multiplied with 1 minus R square. That is the first term and the second term becomes A square R square multiplied with 1 plus R square. Now we exchange a square and a square r square and we put them back inside the parenthesis to get it as a square r square minus a square r to the power 4 multiplied with a square and plus a square r square. Now we replace the variables so it becomes b square plus minus c square multiplied with a square plus b square and thus we have proven the equality. If a, b, c are in gp show that log a, log b, log c are in ap. So we take R to be the common ratio and A as the first term. So log A is nothing but log A. Log B is log AR which is log A plus log R. Log C is equal to log AR square is equal to log A plus 2 log R. So we see that log A, log B, log C are in AP with the common difference of log R. With this we come to the end of problem number 31 to 40 and in my next video I will solve problem number 41 to 50 of geometric progression. And uh, I will correct all the mistakes which we have found and upload this to GitHub. So you can download the slides from there.
So if you have found this video informative and useful, please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel as it motivates me to make more videos. And I'll be more careful in future to uh, not have typos in the slides. Actually, I do not look very carefully in the slides because all this comes from LaTeX sources. So I mostly work with LaTeX and if there's a typo, I miss it. Thanks a lot for watching the video. Enjoy.